Today I wanted to do a quick video on how to do a discussion forum in MyTech. A discussion forum might be something that you use where the instructor poses a question and then would like the class to engage and respond to those with their thoughts and ideas. Um, we are going to do what is called an introduction discussion, just introducing yourselves to the rest of the class. It will help me to get to know a little bit more about each student. So from the home page, you're going to see when you're on your overview page, off here over to the left, you're going to go ahead. There's two ways to access the discussion forum. Number one, you can click on discussion forum. Or number two, you might be looking through your coursework and see that you have an introduction discussion to do. So from the coursework, you can click on introduction discussion. Um, and in your view, it will pull up the introduction. Today I wanted to show you how to do a discussion forum in MyTech. When you log into your MyTech account, you come to your overview page. Off here over on the left, you'll notice a link called discussion forum. But before you even know that you have a discussion forum, you might need to see it or you might see it pop up in your coursework. So from coursework, you can go ahead and click on introduction discussion and it will open up and it will give you the instructions as to what you need to do. So in this particular discussion forum, it talks about that we went over some intro material in class. I want you to introduce yourself to me and your classmates. And then you're going to click on the button that says add post to add the discussion post. And it says you're going to call it intro with your name. So example for me, it would be intro Tammy Munson. I want you to tell us your name, what program you're in, what do you do in your free time, something personal that will help to get um, others to know you. So hobbies, family, job, you know, these are just some examples. You might have lots of other examples you can use. You need to read your classmates posts and you need to respond to at least two. You're going to have to respond or you're going to have to make a post before you're going to be allowed to respond to posts or before you'll be able to see anyone else's posts. You need to be writing in complete sentences, just using a simple word or phrase like sounds great or me too doesn't meet the criteria for this assignment. So make sure that you're using complete sentences. I've had students say, can I just copy and paste these four items at the top and then answer in a paragraph below? Absolutely. You know, whatever you feel comfortable doing. And so it says in here that so far I have not done my post and I have not done my replies. And I'm required to do one post and two replies. So it says I can visit the introduction topic in the forum. So here's the forum. I can also get to the forum by clicking on the link here. And it just looks a little different for me to get into the forum. So what it asked me to do was to add a post. So I click on add post. Um, because I'm in emulation view, it won't let me do it from student view. So let me just quickly go to my faculty view and I will click on it. So here, when I click on add post, you have to put your subject. So that's your intro with your name. I need to spell. <laughs> and then you can go ahead and start your post. Oops, sorry. South Dakota. Um, I am in the I'm in the engineering division at Mitchell Tech. Um, this might be where you need to take a look at everything that I've asked you to include. Um, my hobbies, our camping, listening to music. swimming and spending time with my family. And then I always make sure that I sign the discussion posts. Um, 
I know that the information is up here, but sometimes that's just nice to do. Now, if you want to check your spelling and make sure everything's okay, click on Preview, and then it will allow you to edit it if you need to. You can click on Edit, or you can click on Submit. That's up to you. So, um, if I need to edit it, uh, maybe there's something else I wanted to add. I look forward to teaching you this semester. So, if I think everything's spell checked fine, then I can go ahead and choose Submit. So now it's submitted. If I go back to my coursework as a student, it should now show me that I have made my one post. So I've met that requirement. Now I need to reply to two other students. Since I've made a post, as soon as other students post, I'll be able to see what they've posted. But you have to make that initial post first. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask.